is this the beginning of mass deportations here in South Africa? Well, SAPs are actually identifying illegal foreigners and of course deporting them back to their countries. We'll be talking about this particular information in this video. So please do all to stay glued and do watch the video till the very end. So a video circulating online has ignited a heated debate across South Africa. The footage which captures South African police service officers conducting door-to-door -door identity checks in Johannesburg Central Business District has sparked a divided response from citizens and human rights activists alike. While in the video, SAPS officers are seen entering businesses and residential buildings asking individuals to produce identification to verify their legal status. But the stated aim of this operation is to root out illegal foreign nationals in the country. However, this has triggered a wide ranging, of course. However, this has triggered a wide ranging conversation about the balance between law enforcement, human rights, and the country's ongoing immigration challenges. While the operation has received both praise and criticism, raising important questions about South Africa's approach to handling illegal immigration. On the other hand, some citizens argue that strict immigration enforcement is necessary to maintain security and, of course, combat crime. On the other hand, still, many fear that these measures could lead to racial profiling, xenophobia, and, of course, the violation of basic human rights. While well, South Africa has long been a destination for migrants from neighboring countries seeking better economic opportunities, However, the influx of undocumented migrants has become a point of tension within the country, especially as South Africa faces high unemployment rates, economic instability, and increasing crime. For years, the government has faced mounting pressure to crack down on illegal immigration, with many South Africans blaming foreign nationals for these social and economic challenges. What is SAP's door-to-door -door operation is part of the government's response to these pressures. This isn't the first time that South Africa has implemented strict immigration measures. Previous government efforts such as Operation Fiela in 2015 aimed to address illegal immigration but were also marred by acquisition of xenophobia and the excessive use of force. While the central issue here lies in the complex balance between law enforcement and human rights. While proponents of the SAPS operation argue that it is necessary for maintaining national security and enforcing immigration laws. While South Africa, like many countries around the world, faces difficult choices in dealing with illegal immigration. Advocates of stricter immigration controls point to the strain on public resources, job markets, and crime rates asserted that illegal immigration contributes significantly to these problems. While critics are connected and of course concerned that these operations could easily cross the line into racial profiling and xenophobia. While South Africa's history with xenophobia and of course xenophobic violence adds an additional layer of complexity to the issue. For years, Tensions between locals and foreign nationals have flirted into violence, with foreign-owned shops looted and migrants targeted in attacks. Human rights groups warn that door-to-door -door checks could exacerbate this hostility, leading to further victimization of vulnerable communities. Moreover, the operation raises concerns about the potential for abuse of power and violations of civil liberties. Many worry that without strict oversight, such actions could develop or devolve into harassment and intimidation of law-abiding migrants, while the use of these tactics has the potential to create an atmosphere of fear and mistrust, especially among migrant communities who may feel targeted based on their ethnicity or nationality. While the outcome of this debate will likely have significant implications for South Africa's immigration policies moving forward. If the government continues down the path of aggressive enforcement, it may lead to increased tensions between citizens and foreign nationals, potentially fueling further social unrest. 
On the other hand, if the operation succeeds in reducing illegal immigration without causing widespread harm, it could set a precedent for future actions aimed at addressing the issue. Guys, do you think the SAP's door-to-door -door operation is a necessary measure to address illegal immigration or does it cross a line into human rights violation? Leave your thoughts just down in the comment section.